Magandang umaga guys, good morning. Welcome back to day two of our seven day vlog challenge. Um, I just woke up right now, just cleaned the kitchen, washed all those dishes, and now I'm cooking some breakfast. Can you guys guess what that is right there? Tell me down in the comments, hurry before I, I show you what it is. You got five seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. That's what it is right there. So, you Filipinos out there, you might think that looks familiar, huh? Longanisa. What does longanisa look like that? Well, Mexican longanisa and longanisa that you find throughout Latin America, um, it looks like that. It's not sweet. It's, um, in some cases, a little spicy. It's gar very garlicky, salty, fatty, and, uh, has uh, heavy paprika, cumin, and other spices in it. So it tastes very different than the ones from the Philippines because when I was there, those the, the Filipino chorizo and longanisa is very um, sweet. <laughs> anyway, this is a typical Mexican breakfast. So um, I grew up like eating this in the mornings. Uh, my grandma, my mom, it's uh, really simple. All it is is just we'll do either chorizo or longanisa in the morning and fry it with uh, eggs or potatoes. I like it with potatoes and then you put eggs on it. Longanisa, as you can see, look, it's like really soft. I took it out of the casing, the sausage casing, so I could mince it and fry it. This is super good, guys. If you guys have a Mexican market near you, you should buy this sausage, buy the longanisa. And you could fry it up and make it crispy and then put it in melted cheese. And you have like a queso dip. So good like that. Look at that, guys. <laughs> These low carb tortillas. Mm. Now, this is a breakfast, guys. Our delivery's coming today, guys. We got these milk tea powders coming. This is a Thai tea one. This one's milk tea. And we got boba, Chinese boba. And then we got these boba straws, reusable metal straws. They should be in today, tonight. So excited. So um, we decided to go on a drive. Um, we're gonna go to Monterey and I brought my drone. So it, <clears throat> it's not, I'm, it's a little cloudy, but I don't think it's gonna rain. So I think we should be good. So we're gonna go to Monterey and um, go check out Angelique's favorite spot Dinner. on the coast with the squirrels. 
Is it the Lover's Point? Yeah, Lover's Point. We're gonna go, yeah, it's technically Pacific Grove, but I, I call it Monterey, because it's like Monterey area, so. Let's get going, guys. <clears throat> So mask. Yeah guys, it's pretty windy out here right now. So we're gonna try to get the drone up in the air. I don't know how it's gonna do because it's really windy. Yeah, we should be able to just get it up for a little bit. So that way you guys can see what it looks like. Look at all this right here. It was President's Day a couple days ago. So yeah, that's why they have all these American flags out here. There's these little squirrels that run around over here. And um, they're like used to tourists, so what happens is they come up to you, they look for food, and you can feed them and they'll walk right up to you. But you didn't bring any food, babe, so maybe they won't give you any attention. So beautiful out here. Look at this, guys. So beautiful. Before coronavirus, this whole park is a very, they call it Lover's Point. Lover's Point Park, uh, usually they have a lot of people out here hanging out in the grass, listening to music, barbecuing on the beach, and swimming, surfing, all that good stuff. See them? Look at that one right there. See if it goes to you. <laughs> it's so funny. These guys look like they're like fed pretty good. Look at this one right here. This one's a brave one. What's up, little guy? Try to get the drone in there. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's see if I can get the drone up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to. But let's take a look. <coughs> huh? What? Over here. Let's go look down here first. Yeah, this is a very popular spot in the summertime. Like this whole beach will be packed right here. Because it's not deep. So a lot of people go swimming right here. You'll see a lot of surfers. I'm surprised there's no surfers out right now. So beautiful here, huh? What do you think, babe? This is like one of the first places I took you in. Angelique's. All right, let's get the drone up in the air, guys. In one, two, and three. Guys, we are at Fisherman's Wharf, Monterey. One of my favorite places in the world. 
This place is awesome. We're gonna, Angelique wants to get a bread bowl. <laughs> you want a bread bowl? Yeah. We're gonna get a clam chowder bread bowl and um, take a walk around here. I used to come here all the time when I was a little kid. You know, over there, baby. Look, there used to there used to be this little monkey out here. There used to be this little monkey out here that used to hang out over there, and um, he used to take money. He used to take money out of people's hands. Okay. Like you go, you you would have like a dollar in your hand, and the monkey was trained to walk up to you and take the dollar out of your hand. <laughs> but something happened, like he bit somebody, and then they took him out. He's no longer able to be there anymore. This is Monterey Harbor, guys. All right, guys. So we're here at Fisherman's Grotto. They have the best, the best clam chowder ever, guys. They put them in these big bread bowls, and they're delicious. So. All of these, all of these restaurants down here serve clam chowder, and each one that you go to, the clam chowder is a little bit different. I think this one is the best. Some of them have, some of them have different flavors. Remember when we were trying, we were like sampling them. Yeah. How many? Um, just one. Just one bread bowl. Do you want yeah. the soup inside the bread or separate? Inside. Inside already. Yeah, Anything please. Else? Um, and uh, do you guys have uh, t like uh, Tabasco on the side? Tabasco sauce? Yeah. yeah, please. Thank you. Look, guys. So that's roasted garlic right there. These are salmon sandwiches. This is the bomb. That's my favorite. The smoked salmon? You want one? Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> and garlic bread. And they have these other seafoods. Can you get like smoked salmon? I think this one's got like squid or octopus in it. And then shrimp cocktail. Yeah, just use that one. Look at that, guys. Doesn't this look good? Yeah. This looks so good. So with the clam chowder, guys, you put um, it's really good with Tabasco sauce. So this is a sourdough sourdough roll, and. Yeah, the clam chowder's got a bunch of clams, obviously. Bacon, it's creamy. So delicious. It should be good to taste test at first because that Tabasco's strong. Mm -hmm. It's good? It's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> so when you come out to Monterey, when you come out to the wharf, you have to you have to get a clam chowder bowl. That's like a must. So, um, especially from the uh, from the grotto. The grotto on the wharf is the spot to get clam chowder, guys. The best part is you take the sourdough and you dip it inside there, like that. And then you bite it. Because it's too sunny, I can't see you. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, and when this bread bowl, when you finish all the clam chowder inside of it, the the juice from the clam chowder soaks into the bread bowl, and you eat the bread bowl last, and it's good. It is tasty, guys. I used to get, I used to like look forward to getting this all the time when I was a little kid. We would come to Monterey, and we'd, we'd always like bug my dad that we have to go and get a bread bowl from the wharf. All right, guys. So, if you look inside this, there's um, capers, cream cheese, and smoked salmon. So tasty, guys. Especially eating this oceanfront. Right in the water. Cheers. Mm. So good. Mm. 
What are the green things? They're little capers. Caper? They're little yeah. berries, like little pickled berries. It's like a salted berry. Mm. So we never had smoked salmon before. You guys are missing out on life. All right. Oh, this is Angelique's dream place right here. You're in heaven right now, huh, dude? Look at Angelique. This is like a this is like a drugstore for her. She's addicted to sweets. You want something? You want to choose a candy? Yeah, I want to. It's okay. You've been good, so I'll let you choose a candy today. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these, babe. Look. $1.99. Huh? Just five dollars. Is there a bigger one? Oh, there's more lollipops over here. Look at these. Happy face ones. This is chocolate paradise for all you Filipinos. Wow, look at that good stuff, guys. Apples, chocolate covered apples. Where? Oh, Angelique, look, they have a Rocky Road apple. Angelique's fa favorite flavor ice cream, Rocky Road apple. Oreo apples. Wow. This, the classic one's the best one. With the caramel? They, that's a, I think they put a green apple inside there. And it's caramel. It's so good. You want just one, one of each one. Oh, that one. Huh? You want that one. Okay. You pick whatever you want. <clears throat> you, get, you get what you want, I'm going to get oh, a caramel corn. Caramel what? Caramel corn right here. I'm going to get one of those. Caramel corn. This is my favorite. I love caramel corn, guys. What one is that? Sour cola. <laughs> what is it? Sour cola. Sour cola? Yeah. Ew. It's like the weirdest flavor, dude. <laughs> Where do you get that? <laughs> strawberry sour belts. This one sounds good right here. Babe, strawberry sour belt. Or regular strawberry roll belt. Those are good. We're like in the Willy Wonka chocolate factory right now. Or candy factory, whatever. Oh dang, look at these things. That's a huge jawbreaker. What is that? Jawbreaker. You like, you can't, it's, they call it jawbreaker because you can't, you can't break it with your teeth. You have to just keep on sucking it until all the layers go down and it turns small. Oh? Yeah. Like, that's why they call them jawbreakers. Angelique's never had black licorice before, so. You guys can see her try it in the car. I want to see her face when she tries it. Maybe I wouldn't like it. Yes, no. It's I heard it tastes similar to that Gulang Man drink. So the black drink? You finish it. Yeah, I'll finish it. Cause I like those. Do you guys make this one here? The gummy? Yeah, no, the um, the popcorn. Yeah. No, go ahead and pay. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, let's go. The candy shop, guys. The most happiest place in the world. All right, Angelique. It's Angelique's first time trying black licorice. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Does it taste like that Gulanman thing? No. No? Do you like it? It tastes like star anise. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it kind of tastes like star anise. Some black licorice are stronger than the other ones though. This one's not even a strong one. Yeah, this one's kind of like weak. I've had the ones from the Netherlands. The the ones from Europe. 
and those ones are pretty freaking strong like if you eat a lot of them it'll numb your mouth and you're not supposed to eat too much of them because it'll, it'll upset your stomach what's up guys we're home we uh actually fell asleep <laughs> Up. We came home guys and um, we laid on the couch and like started scrolling through social media and fell asleep. We, how long did we fall asleep for like? Three, four, five, six, seven, five hours? Yeah. Or maybe four? My god. Look at her. She bought these chips and she <laughs> fell asleep next to the chips like she's guarding them. <laughs> Why are you trying to guard your chips for baby? You think I'm going to eat them or what? Probably yeah. You bad boy. What's wrong with you, you bad boy? What's wrong with you? All right, guys, we got our package here from Amazon. Pretty excited. Let's open it up. Hope you guys like some unboxing videos. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, guys. Dang, they're big, babe. This is gonna last like a long time. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. This is my favorite boba flavor, honeydew. If you guys know me, I love honeydew. So next time I'm in the Filipinas, if we do a fan meet, a meetup, you guys bring me a honeydew boba, okay? From chat time. And Angelique likes Angelique likes the Thai tea. Thai tea. Let's see where it's from. It's got Chinese writing on it. Let's see if it's actually from... Oh, babe, it's authentic Taiwanese. It's imported from Taiwan. Wow, guys. That is so awesome. And then we got the pearls. Five minute pearls, ready in five minutes. This one's from China. Oh man, it's a little scary, guys. Wow. So now we got our own boba make, our own boba kit to make bobas. And then we have these boba straws. Look, they're like rainbow, guys. It's pretty cool, huh? So if you guys want to see us make boba, you're gonna have to uh, watch our tomorrow's vlog. We're gonna make uh, boba in tomorrow's vlog. And um, yeah, we'll see, we'll show you how delicious it is. I hope you guys enjoyed your day with us uh, to the coast and you guys got to see uh, the area that we live in, which is so beautiful, right? Anyway, guys, you got a message for our subscribers, babe? Okay, guys, so make sure you like and subscribe to our videos and please share it and follow us on Facebook and our social media, Instagram, Twitter, um, and leave your comments below. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys.